Control lesson on vectors on ratio. So we're going to find a vector a to b. And we can see that a to b is made up of a to c plus c to b. And we're going in this direction. So we can write this as a to b is equal to a to c plus c to b. And we've been told in the question that a to c is a. So we have a plus c to b. And c to b is going in this direction, which is opposite to the one that we've been given, which is positive b. So because we're going in the opposite direction, that will be negative b. So this is a plus negative b. And we can write this as a minus b. For question two, we're going to work out c to e. And this is from here, from c to e going in this direction. Well, to help with this, we can use this ratio here, where a to e is one part and e to c is three parts. So that gives a total of four parts. We can write this as c to e is equal to three quarters, because there are four parts in total, of c to a. So c to e is equal to three quarters of negative a, because it travels in the opposite direction. So we can write this as negative three quarters of a. And finally, for question three, d to e. For d to e, we're going to go from d to c and then to e in this direction. So d to e is equal to d to c plus c to e. And for d to c, we can use this ratio where b to d is one part and b to c is four parts. So this will be three parts from d to c. So d to c will be three quarters of b plus c to e, which we've worked out as negative three over 4a. We can factorize out the three quarters. So we have three quarters of b minus a. Okay, let's try another question. In this question, we're going to work out the vector a to c in terms of a and b. Do you want to try and do this yourself? By pausing the video and you can resume it when you're ready. So we can see that a to c is a to p plus p to c. And we know that a to p is given as 4a plus 3b. So we need to work out b to c. And we've been given this ratio here, where b to p is 2 and p to c is 3. So we're going to work out, first of all, b to p, which is, and this is, b to a plus a to p. And because we're going in the opposite direction, which is this direction, we're going to do the negative 3a minus b. And we're going to add a to p, which is 4a plus 3b. And we can collect the like terms. We have a, which is the sum of less than this, and then 2b, which is 3b minus b. So this is b to p. And because b to p is two parts of the line, we're going to half it to work out another one part which is half of a plus b. And when we add them together, we've got three parts, which is b to c, which is 1.5a plus 3b. So now we can put p to c back in here. So we have a to c is equal to a to p, which is 4a plus 3b, plus p to c, which we've worked out as 1.5a plus 3b. We can collect the like terms, 5.5a plus 
6b. Okay, thank you very much for watching and I hope you found it useful. Thanks again and take care.